Hi everyone! I'm Shelly and this is my corner. Today I want to do kind of like a full face glam look. I say glam because you'll, you'll see. But anyways, this is what I would wear on a night out hanging out with friends or anything like that. Um, the first thing I'm going to start with, I'm going to try this out, is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. And that is what this looks like. I'm going to use it with one of my all-time favorite um, eyeshadow palettes. And this is the Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze Palette. I think that's so cool. And this is what all the colors look like. And I just love them. I've worn this a couple times. So I really do like it. So I'm going to show you how I put it on. So first of all, I'm just going to go like this. And prime my eyes like so. It's almost like a concealer is what this reminds me of. But it cover like a concealer does. I mean it's the consistency. It's got a thin kind of consistency but you rub it in and you can't tell it's there. Obviously because it's like my eyes. Alright. So now, I have my brush. Now what I'm going to do to set that is I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush like this and just a everyday face powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder and I really love this and I'm trying to love it to the last drop because obviously I've hit pan. So I'm just going to get a good bit. Watch the dust. And just kind of set my eyelids so that the eyeshadow can go on smoothly. Okay, I'm going to go in with this color right here and this color right there. And I'm going to put them both in my crease. Ignore my nails. They're always horrible. I just realized that this is wonky looking. But I'm going to take my Luxie brush. I think this is a 205 brush. This is my favorite blending brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just kind of make some tap off the excess and go straight into my eye. I'm going to go just a little bit above my crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette and mix it in with this shade. I like to mix my dark colors with a little bit of a lighter as I spit everywhere. I like to mix my dark colors in with a little bit of a lighter color because I find that the application just goes on better. And it doesn't end up patchy or anything like that. And that's just how I always put on my eyeshadows. I mix the dark with the light. And it's just like one or two taps in my brush. The light, but I'm going to use the same brush. The Lexi 205 brush. I got this in a Foxy Charm. Tap it off. And I'm going to go straight into my crease. I'm going to do this eye first. Now I'm going to take another same brush, the Lexi 205, um, except this one has gold writing on it, if you can tell. Focus camera, there we go. The same exact brush has no product on it, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that lighter shade and just kind of buff some of the harshness out. 
lighten it up just a little. Make sure everything's blended like I want it to be. Now, the moment that we've all been waiting for, me included, I'm going to tuck the rest of my hair back behind my ears because it's driving me nuts. I'm going to go in with this lovely yellow shade right here. I'm going to put it all over my lid. Why not? This is a really pretty color. It's like a yellow orangey kind of color, especially on the brush. We're going to swatch. I, I just, I know, something about this color is one of my favorites. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with this shimmery, thimmery, shimmery shade right here um, and put that kind of in the inner corner just to lighten it up a little that way. Oh, I put my yellow color on with this Morphe brush that looks like that. I don't have a name on it, so I can't tell you which Morphe brush it is. There's that. And now I think I'm going to use, this is an elf brush. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this elf eyeshadow brush. I have shaky hands and I'm sorry. I'm going to go in with that lighter shade, that shimmery shade, and I am going to huh. hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. That's not what I want. But it'll do. I have I have a plan in mind. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colored Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Gilded Rose. Upside down. Oops. So I'm taking another Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name, but it looks like that. I'm just kind of painting my color on there. I'm going to lightly put this on my inner corner. Just a little. Tap it out with my finger. No. No, that did not work. I used this the other day and it didn't do a terrible job, but I don't like how this is looking. Real life, people. Real life. You think you have a great idea and you're like, oh, this is going to work. And then, no, it really doesn't. Okay. So, that idea was poop. I'll be right back. I'm going to figure the situation out. Okay, I'm back. I ended up going in with a gold. I ended up going in with a gold highlighter. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. Um, this is a really pretty highlighter. This I was going to use today, 
and that's what it looks like on the skin and I just put it on the inner corners of my eyes and blended it out I figured after it looks a little chunky glitter right now if you look at it um that's okay uh, I can get past this I figured after I do my eye makeup like my eye makeup my eyeliner and everything then it would look better here's hoping because sometimes that's what ties things together is things look scary and you're like oh crap I messed up and it's all about figuring out figuring out what is going to help you look a little better and so I'm going to go in with eyeliner I'm going to use the Kat Von D color tattoo and the color trooper I got this in a Sephora play I'm going to do this off camera because I am terrible with eyeliner and nobody needs to watch the travesty that this is going to be I'll be right back so like I said it does look better once I have eyeliner on I try to play with my lower lash line and I don't know I have oily no 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 watery eyes I have oily eyes I have oily eyelids but I have watery eyes that you know you touch them the wrong way and this could be 15 minutes of just sobbing and so I have trouble getting stuff on my waterline now somebody else can do it it takes about a good 20 minutes because we have to break and go okay blink 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 so I don't mess up my whole eye look so I attempted to well I tight lined I tight lined my upper lash line which I don't do very often but I figured with this look I kind of like the way that it looks um I tried to do the lower lash line and then I was like oh wait I have a smudger and no I just wiped all my hard work off the lower lash line so I'm not gonna pull with it anyways so with this look it would be great to wear false lashes but I am not a false lash girl either I wear them on occasion but I'm going to show you hopefully how to get the false lash look without having false lashes and no I admit I have really great eyelashes which is a part of the reason why I don't wear false lashes to begin with um I love my eyelashes and if I can get them right like on a really really good day then I don't have to wear false lashes so I'm going to start off with the blink black lash primer I got this in Asa no a boxy charm and this is the best thing I think I've ever gotten um this is a very good lash primer so this is what I do Excuse my mouth being open. It just helps. Or my heavy breathing. Okay, now that I've gotten this eye covered in primer, I'm going to go in immediately with any kind of mascara. And this is Thingy Maybelline Rocket Lash. You can't see because it's all wiped off. So, I'm going to go in with that. That's what the wand looks like. Oh. And then we stab ourselves in the eye. First thing.
I'm not done. I am now going to go in with the Maybelline Flash Sensational. And I've... Why? This is what the wand looks like. I kind of like the curvature of it. Um, and again, I go in immediately. Hold on. Okay, again, I go in immediately with it. Um, that way things don't dry and you have the crunch feeling as you're putting your mascara on. Um, and I, try, I take this one and I kind of put the lashes where I want because it's so precise I feel like that I can put my lashes where I want so you can tell that this eye is all dolled up and this eye is not so I will do this eye right back right back and I'll be right back okay okay so now that I have my lashes done um I really wouldn't wear false lashes with them like this now I'm going to do my concealer I double conceal because I like concealer. It is one of my favorite products. I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And this is what it looks like. I take off the little poof that's on top because I feel like this part is too close to the poof. And it's too hard to directly put on my eye. I'm bad about looking at the viewfinder today. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I'm going to use another really good concealer. I'm just going to do a little. And all the excess I put around my nose and just cover my nose area. I'm going to go in with the Eco Tool sponge. This is a really good sponge. My dog ate my $20 beauty blender. Thanks, Chewy. I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not tapping really hard, I'm just kinda lightly pressing that in. Now that I've got all that done, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite Foundations. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This will last literally all day. Um, some people have said it's not good for flashback, but I used it at my wedding, and I thought that my wedding pictures turned out really good. Of course, I'm pale anyway, so... I mean, what's the difference, really? I'm going to take the It Cosmetics uh, Foundation Brush. This is what it looks like. This is one of my all-time favorite foundation brushes. And look, it has a pretty little diamond at the end. Or diamond crystal. Alrighty. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the color Light Neutral. I'm just kind of putting it where I want it a little. I think. 
so I don't mess up my eye makeup. I kind of put it where I want it. I don't know why I'm doing this. I didn't get as much on this eye. Okay, I'm gonna blend that out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my under eye. Right quick. I'm going to use the Cody Airspun powder. I'm taking a little puff. Just getting some product on there. Going underneath. I guess you could call this baking. Um, there we go. Okay. I don't know why I put on my nose. I was going to do cream contour on my nose. Good job. Good job. Way to be a winner. So while you weren't looking, I quickly took the Essence Make Me Brow. And this is the shade for blondes. Uh, blondie brows is what it's called. And I did my eyebrows. Um, nothing fancy. It's just a little blonde brow mascara. So I did that real quick, and now I'm going to take the concealer collection by Measurable Difference. This is what it looks like, and I'm going to kind of contour my face a little. I'm going to take Milk Chocolate and... Which one was this one? Toasted Almond, which are the... Tur dirty two shades right here and I'm going to before I put any more powder on my face just go on my cheekbone and put it in that area she went a little below where I wanted it to go that's okay Ooh. Okay, and that is what that looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and powder my face with the Cody Airspun Powder, and this crap will get everywhere, but it is such a good powder. I'm going to go in with the Morphe brush that looks like this that does not have a name and but now I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Bronzer? I don't know. That's what this guy looks like. I'm going to use the Morphe brush that doesn't have a name. I'm going to gripe about this for about six months. Just be warned. I bronze up the face just a little. Sorry, I got some contour. Let's had it. This is the Makeup Revolution, the matte blush, and this is in the color Nude. And this is a very pigmented blush. I'm taking the Morphe brush that looks like this. So I tap, tap it off. I like to use a. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Verdeo Drive again on my cheeks and maybe I'll 
my nose a little. I'm just using the Coastal Scents Fresh. What is up with companies not putting the name or what it does on the stinking brush? But that's what the brush looks like. <laughs> there you go. to go in with the Wet n Wild lip liner and Bear to Comment. That's the color. These are really good, really affordable lip liners. I'm going to try this. It could be another flood, but that's okay. This is the Clinique Black Cherry. This is a sheer lipstick and I typically like sheer lipsticks so let's see what this looks like with it that is it for this look I think the lips are just perfect enough for the eye color that I have on today I really really love this eyeshadow palette it is one of my favorites um I just love the colors and for some reason this color didn't want to work for me today and I've made it work in the past so don't let that hold you back if you think, hey, I liked, you know, what she did for the most part, but that color sucked. Normally it doesn't. Um, but that is all for this video. If you like these kind of get ready videos with me, then let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to subscribe. And turn on the notification bell and it'll tell you when I upload. I try to upload once a week. I failed last week, but that's okay. Sometimes life happens. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!